Come on in. Come and have a look. And welcome to the home of Lister Cars. We're just outside Blackburn in this very swanky showroom. And this is where you'll come if you want to buy one of these, an LFT 666. This is the Jaguar F-Type based Lister Coupe, 666 horsepower. It just looks so sinister. Now, this place is also home to Lister Classics. Lister Classics and Lister Cars, both owned by Lawrence Whitaker. This is just his personal collection. Some of these cars are for sale. This is really just his personal fleet. We've got some gorgeous stuff in here. Pagoda behind me, NSX in the corner, 993 over there. Aston Martin V12 Vantage S in that corner. I love those things. There's a gorgeous Carmen gear behind you. But today, we're really here to look at one car in particular. That's this one here, the Lister Nobly Continuation. The Lister Motor Company was one of the great British sports car firms. Founded in Cambridge by Brian Lister in 1954, it made its name racing in the sports car category against the likes of Jaguar, Aston Martin and Ferrari. Drivers Archie Scott Brown and Sir Sterling Moss will forever be associated with the company, having raced its cars in period. The most famous and successful Lister of them all was the Nobly, so called because of its distinctive shape with very pronounced wheel arches. It arrived in 1958 and registered enormous success across the racetracks of Europe. For several years, the Lister Motor Company has built Nobly continuations for use on the circuit, but more recently, it has adapted these cars for use on the road as well. These are not replicas, they are continuation cars in the truest sense, built to the original designs in the same factory in Cambridge, using many of the same jigs and, amazingly enough, by some of the same workers. At the car's core is a substantial looking tubular steel chassis, which is draped in hand-formed aluminium bodywork. The 3.8 litre Jaguar engine is an inline six cylinder twin cam fed by twin choke Weber carbs. It's rated at 340 horsepower. The gearbox is a four speed manual. Weighing less than 900 kilograms at the curb, the Nobly has a similar power to weight ratio to the McLaren 570 GT in something with no roof, not much of a windscreen, no driver aids and cross ply tyres. It's spectacularly fast, it'll do 0 to 62 in 4 seconds and run on to 180 miles per hour. The price is £330,000. It all makes for a driving experience unlike anything else. It's really unlike anything I've driven before. Everything about it is just so odd, so special. There's a tiny little windscreen, but it doesn't do much. Your face still gets battered by the wind. I'm sat so low. I feel like I'm just about sitting on the road.
because in that amount of time you start growing really confident in it and you'd start really leaning on the power coming out of corners and making the car just drift a little bit that's what it wants to do you can spend a whole lifetime learning this car and that that's the fun of it it would be fantastic to get it to a point where you're committed enough and confident enough to get it really four-wheel drifting through corners you need a circuit to do that i bet it feels sublime this car costs roughly the same money as the lamborghini aventador svj that would be so much faster along any road around any circuit but in terms of the driving experience engagement making you feel like an integral part of the car this listed obli is in a class of one Thank you for watching this Piston Heads video. Please subscribe to our channel and remember to turn on notifications. For your daily fix of car news, reviews and opinion, check out pistonheads.com.